Hello and welcome everyone back to Life is Strange True Colors. Last time we had a dicey episode, lots of emotion from very happy to very angry to sad. Um, we gotta talk to Gabe. Let's go downstairs, get things go. And maybe maybe we'll we'll be able to explain things a little bit, or at least move right, just things it. over. Stop that! You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> oh boy. So it hurts when you breathe. Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine, I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now, you just go with him. Okay, so Jed is Ryan's dad, I see. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. A little awkward. <laughs> I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Mm. It will say generally rising, right? Like it was a bit of a damper there, but... Rising, for sure. Yeah. First day Let's of my new life. Trying to stay positive here. Oh, good. I'm glad Max's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. It's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no, no problem. I hope he won't be mad at me. Oh, he will. You did the right thing. But hopefully Beef not pie special. <laughs> Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. Is Mac the only I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to Decide be done maybe tonight. maybe from the mining company. Sorry, I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah. Same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. Looks like a nice bar. As a fellow bartender. We can beat him up again. Go for round two. Okay. So I'm short staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh. Be honest. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. <laughs> but I would love the work if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now. And we keep it informal around here. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. So we have Already a few kind of folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. Oh no. You can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. Sounds good. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. I have to work on my Thanks. day off too here, but okay. Guess I'm a server now. Let's go with <laughs> Steph first. Let's see how this goes. I don't really have a chance to talk first. Wow. 
tetanus anyone. I hope Ryan's got better supplies. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get you. Oh, is that really Ryan? I love a little Ryan. A baseball boy. Right. Can I? Oh. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Starting over from scratch like this? It takes a minute to learn the ropes. Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. Yeah, I guess. The way they do things, Starting over from just scratch okay, like so it's this? The same. I don't know. Fucking terrifying is what it is. Idiosyncratic. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. That is an expert analysis, I think. I got. Then of Haven Springs Council vote notice. Okay. Written up for leaving my phone on. Was it only forty-five bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear? Hmm, that's that's Not cheap, me. I guess. But a shot here. That looks radioactive. It does. Oh, we have a jukebox. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. Okay, let's. That's the girl from the record store. Staff. Let's check in on her. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. So, uh, who are you sitting with? So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. Hey, a hero. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Okay, so what are you working on? Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Sure. Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? I'd give it a try. Why not? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. So is that your radioactive shot? Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? Yeah. It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? You're on. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, let's drink on the I'll job. Pick a song. First day. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. All right. No cheating. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Okay. Some missing ketosis. Children. Nasty. Correct. Okay. okay. 
Let's maybe let's go with like a band name question first. Ooh. Let's go with if it, if it is a one word. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Okay. Hmm. It's okay. So. More than one word. Um. But, uh. Four words or more. Curse words. I see. Hmm. I want many with four more words. Same with, uh, let's go with four more words. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Okay, okay so we have a one, one word band name and four more words. Okay, go with the cover art question. if it is a picture of an animal. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Oh. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? You've got two questions left. Two questions left. Okay. That sounds a personal question. Uh, why do you like it? Why do you like this song? So... I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule. Can you handle it? So why do I like this song? The lyrics crack me up. Even the title's pretty goofy. Reminds me of fun times, I guess. Goofy title, you say? Hmm. Last question. Okay. Yeah, all right, I know. Goofy question. Okay, so let's see. What even comes in? just three. Could be here over the thousand rhymes. Could be cold cocked. No, could not be cold cocked because we have an animal. So it kind of has to be Unless I mess something. Because I'm not quite sure if it was one word or more. Okay, so... Song title. Let's go... Back... Band name. Has a band name has a symbol. Person's name. Cover art. Okay, there are no animals on the cover. The band name is more than one word. Okay, so it's okay. So I messed that one up. Okay, so let's go back. Let's see what what even comes. From, what are my options here? Okay, more than one words and also more than. Oh, song title is four words or longer. Okay, could be blame the monkey brain, or big nasty. Could be. Would be good because we also have one has a goofy title. So Vic Nasty is up there. 
Couldn't be mounted on porridge because we do have... We have no animals on the cover, okay. Grams McCovern. Give me a hand and kick your own ass. Could be that, right? Could be Grams McCovern. Fuckadelics. Kiss up and shut. Kiss up and shut me. Funny. Husky and Wax. Mildred Cross and the Watermelon Floss Brigade. This is tough. Uh, okay. So, I think... So, it, it seems like it's between Fusky and Wax. Could be the Fuckadelics. Then Grams McCovern. And Big Nasty. So... Any punctuation curse words? That would be an option. There's a symbol. There's a person's name. Other art. People on the cover. Ooh, does my cover uh, need some something that Not sure. Those words punctuation. The song title. We go with curse words. Now the big nasty one, it's also like does that count as an animal? Is this an... <laughs> as a symbol. Person's name. Let's go with a symbol. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Nice. That's your five. Ready okay. to guess? So it's either... Yeah. So Let me look through one last time. Like Here's what I know. A good, the good band gym. name does have a symbol in yep. it. It's not a one-word band name. Yep. The song title is at least four words long. Yep. No animals on the cover. Mm-hmm. The title's kind of goofy. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. We'll see, yeah. So, Vignassi is an option. Yeah, my cover, not. Could be the Fuckadelics. So, it's between the Fuckadelics. Let's go with the Fuckadelics. <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. Awesome. We did it. Guess I'm drinking? <laughs> You make your own bed. <laughs> Challenge the wrong person. Oh. Hey. And we Thanks didn't drink on the job, so that's good. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. All right. Sure, I know. Let's go to Ducky and Diane. 
I should check on that table. Can I get you two anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with both friendship and information. You're from Portland, Seems right? Seems like a drive. I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Uh, so far, kind of perfect. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. And I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager oh for boy. Typhon Mining. Okay. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheese pie special with fries. With mushrooms. And my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. All right, let's do our work. My dad was in the service. Oh, can we? Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with dad. He's come a long way. Hey dad. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. Oh. Burger with mushrooms, I think. One burger with mushrooms. Uh-huh. And? And the... Pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Okay, we can do that. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Oh, hey, someone made a course about my life. Hmm. Okay, let's look around first. Oh, still want to hit the trails later this week? This one's from yesterday. Hold up. Oh, yeah. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Okay. The bottle. Let's, let's go out. Let's go out. Let's get the bottle. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Oh, I didn't see the medals before. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Oh, wow. He really... That doesn't seem like the whiskey bottles there. That's the couch. Let's search it. Ha! Got it. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Hmm. Really? 
must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. Oh, to yes, Alex. We are. Cheers. To me. I was drinking on the job after all. My dad was in the service. Okay. Go further in this corner. What do we have here? A plaque? Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Okay. There's a bullet hole at Rest least. Rest in peace, mister. Guess these were for mining. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. Oh yeah, I would imagine that crowds might be difficult for Unusually us. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Nice. Is Clipping. there anything this woman can't do? I met Charlotte Harmon in her home studio last month. Both her and her uh, coffee mug were covered in paint. Yes, I'm a cliche. She beamed as she led me towards her latest creation, a gorgeous portrait of local business owner Eleanor Leith. Uh, port, uh, part oil painting, part lacquered. Okay. Very few surfaces in our house are free of paint. I'm okay with that, she continued. You're probably familiar with Ms. Harmon's work thanks to her commission from the town council to decorate the walking path of Main Street. A massive outdoor mural fittingly titled Hayden Springs captures our small slice of earth nestled in the Colorado mountains. It was such a beautiful, such a wonderful experience, Ms. Harmon recalled. Everyone supported me during the process and Jet basically fed my family for months. Which was great because the lantern makes the best burgers in town. You can print that. Now Miss Harmon is looking to deepen her connection to Haven Springs and start a small business. No easy task for a working artist. Pretty impressive. Let's go fight with Mac again, probably. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. No, yeah, that's something. A ward. 19 lives? Jed okay. Is a real hero. That's the whole saving people thing. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Yeah, small towns tend to be very serious about these kind of things. Not much else happening. <laughs> Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. We saw a bunch of them upstairs. How mysterious. Amelia Rosen Goldstein. On this side, Amelia Goldstein operated a bed and breakfast for nine years, known for its beautiful rooftop garden. She died at the age of 32 of influenza. Though married shortly before her death, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. Ooh. You idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. With a tag board. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. Mine around now. Each miner removed his tag as he entered the mine and replaced it on the board when... If it exited, okay. Haven seems pretty proud of its mining history. I will clear Jed up. asked me to clear that off. We'll do that in a second. Arkanoid. Okay. Fire. Okay. Let's give it one round.
Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so bad. Game over. Okay. Yeah, I'm just too bad at these games. Now let's be honest. Can we talk to him? Should we talk to him? Wow. I messed Mac up pretty good. Oh, okay. Let's let's clean up. Oh boy. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Well, it was mainly you. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you're awful. You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. Maybe she should. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. Well, if, if she's the best thing that ever happened to you, you should I, live up to it, man. Well, our job to save your relationship. What the save fuck it yourself. is wrong with you? Oh my God, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. It's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Come on. Oh, come on. Well, no. Okay. Um... Not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? We're calling him out. We're not protecting him. Like, she seems like a nice person. Like, he needs to get his shit together. I'm protected. Now, so call out of Max bullshit. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Fucked him up. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Yep. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh. Oh boy. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. What about Mac? Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> you 
your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. No, oh, funny. <laughs> yeah. I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, we already drank, I'll be at the bar. So. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> So here's the thing. I, like, it's not that I wanted to uh, destroy their relationship, but at the same time, like, I mean, yeah, I get it that you want to keep her, but like, then act better. I know that things are not always that easy, but it seems to be like See, Harmon like, must we, be Charlotte. We can't this cover really for cool. him when he's a piece of shit to her. Like that—that's just the consequence he needs to deal with. Let's see. Christ, she did that to that guy's face? It's steering clear. Aw, I'm already making friends. Yeah. Getting getting a nice reputation as uh, as the town brawler. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Okay. Uh. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Not yet. Want to talk Actually, to Actually, not yet. The cop. <clears throat> like, what, what, why are you talking to me that? <laughs> My dad was in the service. Damn, was that drank out of wine? Yeah. Did I come on too strong? It was bold. I'll give you that. I was out of line. Hey, Alex. Ready for the drink? I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Hey, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... There you Thanks. go. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> <sighs> you know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. So I've heard. I'm starting to get the sense. Yeah. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. That was weird. Oh, well, okay. Let's talk to Jet. I think we, we I think we clean things up, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Any, oh, there's nothing. Something happened here. I think I see Don't a play lot the more jukebox, of the jukebox game with game Alex in Chen. My yep. Gotta develop a taste for it. If you have your fun now, but no. Revenge is a bedazzled Kiwi Schnapp shot best surf cold. Ever been more proud? Perfect. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Oh. Who's Charlotte? Yeah. Charlotte is the girlfriend, right? Okay. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. Okay, Ryan. Will help. Yeah, Charlotte. Charlotte is Ethan's mom. Okay. So she also owns the dispenser. Are you done now? Oh uh, yeah. Think yeah, so. I took care of everything you mentioned. Easiest Is there shift anything ever. else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Oh, there you go. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. Okay. I think yep. that's enough for today. I was glad to have you. I can see you're a hard worker. 
You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Well, it's on my phone. Official 2L warning. Tough of mine. Oh, boy. Rose hey, Theater. Ben has an indie movie theater. Impressive. That's cool. All right. I think this is a good time to take a break um, before we head up and uh, talk to Gabe, uh, which will probably be a little bit awkward because of the things that happen. But, um, oh, I just see there's a memories tab. What's doing that? Oh. Yeah, there was something else I think that had that had this weird shine I needed to check out again. Oh, I think it was the letter. Um and when I read it I wasn't really sure what like that special symbol means, but now I realize it's where we can use our powers. Hopefully I can still check that out. Um we'll try to remember that. But uh, thank you uh, all for joining me for today's episode. I hope that our talk with Gabe will go well. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm a little bit nervous, as you can tell. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please give the video a like. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video with friends, family, and the people on the internet. That will help me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future. I will be back with more Life is Strange True Colors tomorrow. Until then, have a great time.